This is today's temperature. 90 outside. Today's high will be 91. Tonight's low will be 73. The real feel is 99, and i got to tell you, it is hot out there. Okay, so my portable AC says it's 86. It is set at 75. Now it's getting warm in here. My overhead cab, oh, oh good, it shows up on the camera. Yesterday I cut more reflectics. Put some in my vent. Um, can't even get to the window. See the windows? The window back there, I put a double layer. Put a new layer on the side windows. So in the center are the uh, <laughs> So in the center of the RV, it says it's 82 degrees and 70 percent humidity. I gotta tell you, the center of the RV is fine. The kitchen gets hot. So I had to put a layer of Reflectix over my back window in the kitchen too. Basically, I have had to turn my RV into a cave. So I am going to try an experiment. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to move on. I'm going to have to go to an RV park so I can use my very capable... Oh, sorry, I just got back from the store. So I can use my very capable... AC unit, because I don't have enough power here for it, and this sucker will freeze you out. Okay, so you see all these bottles? I'll tell you what I'm going to do with them in a little bit. On so, what am I doing today? I am making an ice chest cooler. Little AC kind of thingy. Okay, so I got one of these styrofoam ice chests. Actually, we just inherited a few of these, so I just took one. Measuring tape, a uh, really sharp, sharp cutting knife. Oh, look, no more finger bandage. Yay! No more finger so splint, anyhow, rather. But what I did was got a piece of PVC and a little elbow joint, which actually I got from the barn. And they had a whole bunch of it, so they won't miss it. And I cut a hole with my sharp knife and just stuck that in there. So I bought a six inch clip fan. And um, of course you could use, if you want to go with a 12 volt system and try this idea, you can get a 12 volt auto fan, which is the same size as this little six inch clip fan, but I don't have any 12 volt connections up in the overhead cab and I am plugged into shore cap power so I'll just you know use this what I like about this is it's not assembled as far as the base goes so you can use it as a clip here is the base you can use it as a base don't want to lose the receipt in case it doesn't work put that in my pocket and here is the fan I can get it out of your box. Okay, so it has a nice long cord to it, which is good too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put the fan upside down on the styrofoam ice chest, make a um, cut a hole. I don't want to go up. I'm sorry, I'm not even focusing. I'm going to lay it down here and I'm going to cut a hole in the styrofoam. I'm trying to decide how I want to cut it. I don't think I want to take it to this level. I think I want to take it to about there. So I'll cut it to about that level and then I will set it in the hole. So I will fill those up with water, stick them in the deep freeze in, the, in their house, and freeze them. And that will be my ice source for my So ice basically, chest. all this has cost me was $10 for the fan. So I will uh, position my fan to where I think I might want it, which I think I might want it right about there, that I will mark 
about the area I want to cut. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Oops, and I don't really want to cut too close to my uh, little air exhaust pipey thing, whatever you want to call it, because then the structure of the, fi the fiberglass will not be very good. A fiberglass, uh, styrofoam. And the other beauty of this is, since it's styrofoam, if I don't cut my hole big enough, I can always cut it some more. Yeah. So I will cut a hole through this, and I'll cut it on the inside of my black circle because I can always cut more if I don't cut it big enough. And then I'll show you how it fits when I'm done. So there you go. There's my hole. The fan goes over the hole. Plug it in. Fill this thing with ice or my ice bottles when I get them filled up and frozen. Okay, so here it is. Brought it up to my overhead bed. It barely clears my ceiling. I got lucky there. I had to lower the exhaust thing, but that's okay. The blower, or whatever you want to call it, I lowered it. The fan barely fits in that corner, but it fits, so that's cool. And I put it on a blue tarp, and I left the plastic around the ice chest just in case it were to sweat. I don't want a wet bed, so there you go. Got tarp around that. And then I have my O2 cool fan here that I set up to maybe help flow the air through this area more. I don't know. We'll okay, see. so it's 10.39 a.m. Outdoor temperature's 82. Supposed to reach 92. And tonight will be 73. The real feel already is 102. That's pretty hot. Our humidity is just high here. Um, right now, in the RV, I don't know if it's seeing that. Okay, now we see. It's 65% humidity and 84 degrees upstairs. So. I am going to load my ice chest up with all these frozen bottles. And we will see how much of a difference it may make. Okay. It's only been on a few minutes. I have the fan turned on low as not to melt the bottles as quickly. And I think low is probably adequate. And I put the thermometer up beside the vent thing just to see and it says 77 it's only been a few minutes so you can see that the temperature is already dropping which is nice now it's down to 75 awesome this thing works so I'm going well I think I'll leave that up there for a few more minutes to see what it reaches and then I'll move it down to the bed part to see what it reaches. Okay, I've been testing this system for about an hour now. It says it's 86. Well, so far from my test, it's not proving anything phenomenal. I've had this running for a few hours. It is now 1.30 in the afternoon. I have this fan to bounce it back up. I completely closed off this area with the curtain. And look, it's 88 outside. Well, that just turned off. It's 88 outside, and guess what? It's 88 degrees up here, too. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just keeping it at outside temperature, because normally it would be hotter up here, but this is kind of discouraging. Not liking my test results. Sucks. Hot. I don't want to take a nap. It's hot. Suck. 